Hi, I'm Thorsten Schmidt, the owner of Sirius Yacht, and I'm going to explain you a bit about our rudders and different variations. Um, we do six different keel versions on each boat, and um, most of them, nearly all of them, have a single rudder in the middle of the boat. So this is very important because with the prop wash, which goes directly to the rudder, you have a perfect maneuverability, unlike with double rudders, for which we come later. Um, there's another special thing here. Um, we don't like aft cabins very much because we think we have a better solution in the middle. For that reason, our prop is very near to the rudder, which means we have a very, very direct current from the prop working onto the rudder, which makes a perfect maneuverability. There's another trick. Modern boats today have just single spade rudders with no skeks anymore. This is a bit of a thing of the past because it's complicated to build. It's an extra part. It has to be aligned very good. But still, this is the best way to do it because we have different current situations and different pressure situations on a rudder um, depending on if we are under engine or if we are under sails. If we are sailing, the main pressure which we have is on the back part of the rudder far down. This is where most steering happens. Um, if we are under engine, the main pressure is in the front of a rudder, about here in this position. And for that reason, you can either design a rudder which is perfect for sailing or a rudder which is perfect for being in the engine, but not both. The only way to get both of best worlds is a half skeg, because in the position where the rudder is hit the most and where the biggest pressure is under engine is the skeg, which aligns the boat in longitudinal direction, and you have the balance which goes over here for steering. Whereas under sails, where the main pressure is on the long part here, um, you have a long, deep spade rudder which is not interfered by the skeg in front here. What we see here is another speciality. Um, this boat has a twin keel, which means it can stand in a tidal area, it can stand on the sand or it can stand ashore. And for that reason, this rudder has a little foil underneath. This foil is for the rudder for more stability. If you sink in in the sand, it's quite a hard surface, or astonishing hard surface, but um, still the rudder will touch the floor, as touch the, the sand as well. And if it would be very sharp angled, it will go easier in, and the boat might end up a bit more like this. And for that reason, we have a little foil underneath, a little foot underneath to have a bit more standing support when the boat dries out. So here we see a different rudder configuration. This is a swing keel boat. Um, on the normal boats we have uh, five different keel versions on each type uh, with twin keels or with fin keels you have a single spade rudder like seen before which is in the middle of the boat which is good because of the maneuverability um, but if you go for the minimum draft with a swing keel of 90 centimeters then the rudder can only be um, can only stick 82 centimeters deep into the water and that would not be enough with a single rudder in the middle and the, it will heal out when, when it heals it will um, get out of the water and for that reason you need double rudders um, and they work um, on the sides of the boat and if the boat heals then one rudder might come out of the water but then you still have the other rudder. The problem with double rudders is that the stream, the current, the wash from the propeller when you are under engine and want to maneuver goes in between the rudders so you literally have no maneuverability if the boat comes from a standstill you always need some speed to, um, uh, to be maneuverable and because this scares people, um, you can have a, a third rudder which is just in the middle and the only purpose for this rudder in the middle is to get the rudder wash and to correct the stream when you do maneuvers on close quarters and that works pretty good and this is the reason many of our swing keel owners go for this additional third rudder. And if you like to find out more about our company, um, about our products or see more videos, have a look to our website. Hope to see you soon. Bye.